President Obama has authorized what he calls limited airstrikes to protect both U.S. personnel in northern Iraq and refugees trapped on a mountaintop. NBC's Steve Handelsman has the latest from Washington. U.S. pilots over Iraq tonight got the green light to attack ISIS rebels if necessary. They're advancing on Erbil, where there's a U.S. consulate. American diplomats in danger, said President Obama. We intend to stay vigilant and take action if these terrorist forces threaten our personnel or facilities anywhere in Iraq. U.S. warplanes could also attack ISIS near Mosul to protect the U.S. delivery tonight of relief supplies to Iraqi civilians. Like this, food and water were airdropped into northern Iraq. Iraqi Christians and Yazidis from Mosul fled ISIS death threats. 40,000, many of them women and children, are on a mountaintop, starving and running out of water. Today, America is coming to help. Mr. Obama, who met with top aides in the Situation Room, said he knows many Americans oppose any new involvement in Iraq. But he said, we can't turn a blind eye. And when many thousands of innocent civilians are faced with the danger of being wiped out, and we have the capacity to do something about it, we will take action. But will not, he said, send in U.S. ground forces. Still, the U.S. is poised to get back into combat in Iraq for the first time in two and a half years. I'm Steve Handelsman, NBC News, Washington.